Hello, it's Matt Layton with you. Rescuers are hunting for a woman missing amid extreme weather on Tasmania's Mount Wellington. I understand she's managed to make contact with us by mobile phone. But again, there's another timely example of uh, people getting out into the environment, perhaps being as, not being as prepared as what they ought to be. Assistant Police Commissioner Adrian Bodner there. It comes after eight people were rescued from the summit in two separate incidents yesterday. Meanwhile, a woman died and a man was seriously injured after a tree fell on them in the state's northwest. Canberra is pressuring the states and territories to beef up services for people with disabilities. The National Disability Insurance Scheme is tipped to cost about $60 billion by 2030. NDIS Minister Bill Shorten has told the ABC he'd like to restrain that. This scheme is the only lifeboat in the ocean for Australians who live with disability. So the challenge there is to sit down with our, our brother and sisters at the states and say, what are you doing in the school system to provide additional support for kids with special needs? The NDIs can't replace the school system. And the Defence Minister is rubbishing claims the coalition was close to signing its own compensation deal with France over the scrapped submarine deal. That's just not true. And I think what we're seeing from the coalition weeks into their time in opposition is they're just making stuff up now. Richard Miles on Sky News there. Australia will pay French company Naval Group around $830 million. What would you do with a dollar? Did you know that for every one dollar donated to Food Bank, two meals are created? Head to foodbank.org.au. GWS is in control in this afternoon's clash with North Melbourne at Marvel Stadium. At quarter time, the Giants were up by 30 points. Meanwhile, Roos great Wayne Carey says he was impressed with Joe Danaher's return. The Lions forward booted three goals in last night's 21-point win over St Kilda. I thought he did a really, really good job considering he hasn't played for five or six weeks or whatever it is. He should have kicked five or six in actual fact. And Sri Lanka's beaten Australia by four wickets in the final T20. We've still won the series 2-1. Sell your love with showers across the limestone coast into this evening down to six tonight a shower or two and 14 tomorrow showers increasing 14 tuesday showers 15 wednesday our listener app is the new home of your local news join now to listen live or on demand